dear kid who bullied me all through grade school. It's funny, you're still taking my lunch money. Sincerely, I asked for no pickles. Ah! No pickles! Huh. Maybe this will work. Hey viewers, Rick's here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Sharpie pen. This is the S gel. And let's see. No smear, no bleed technology. Black ink, medium, 0.7 millimeters. All right, let's check it out. So the box says it's got two metal pins in there. All right, let's give this an examination. Here we go, two black pins, 0.7 millimeters. So it's kind of a, oh, I'd say close to the bold area there, which is good. The power of Sharpie now in a gel pen, exclamation, sleek metal barrel, durable metal clip, comfort grip, no smear, no bleed technology for an exceptional writing experience, always vivid writing with intensely bold ink colors. Product contains a wax tip seal to prevent damage during shipping. Please remove prior to use. Newell Brands, we would love to hear from you. Double, double, double dot Sharpie dot com. Okay, we got that out of the way. Now for the most complicated part of this whole review is figuring out how do you take the pen out. And there she is. All right, so we got two pens. We'll take a look at one and the other. We'll just scoot that away right over there. You stay. All right. And let's take a close look at this pen. And first impressions. That's a nice looking pen. Ooh. Look at that. It's a lot of light. There's a lot of light here. And this pen is just glaring. It's got this really nice silver barrel. Feels like metal, not plastic. Metal clip. Nice rubber grip. Look at that grip. It says Sharpie right there. And it says, looks like S gel right there. Okay. So it just feels really nice. It's not too hefty, though I don't mind a pen that's hefty. It's more on, you know, it's light but yet it it feels and sounds quite solid. Hear that? That's not plastic sounding, but it feels good in my hand, holding it like this, and it has the old standard click and you can see there's the tip, and then there's that little rubber thingy that they say to take off, Let's just flick that out of the way. Second time's the charm. All right. Well, let's see how it writes. That would be a great idea. All right. I asked for no pickles. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. Ha, and ha. Wow, that writes really, really smooth. Zoom in. All right, so let's try this out here. Dear Shakespeare, how do you spell it? S-P-E-A-R-E, -E? is that how you spell? Or is there no A in here? Let's see, R-E. I don't know, question mark. All right, so how does it feel? How does it feel? Okay, 
the way it feels to me is that while it writes really smooth, it does have a kind of a roller ball feel to it as opposed to uh, these gel pens that are common like the G7 and so forth that when you write with it, 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 it just feels like it's gliding on butter. This does not, it's, it does give me a little bit of a mechanical feel to the end of it. Yes, a little bit of, um, I would say, yeah, kind of uh, resistance, not bad, but it, it almost, it's on the edge of feeling like, like I've got uh, metal to paper. And honestly, personally, I don't really care for that feeling. Feeling. Now, let me grab, for example, another gel pen here. Now, let me compare the feel. I'm going for the feel here, okay? How does this feel? Okay, this feels more like a gel pen. It has less uh, of a metal or roller to paper feel. In other words, there's less mechanical drag. Okay, then I use this clearly handsome looking sharp uh, sharpie pen here which would look really good with a dress shirt and tie on for example as opposed to this old plastic thing but how does this feel a little less uh, metal contact um, that's not the way to say it. How, how, how would you describe this on a video? Well, let's put it this way. If you were writing on a coat of oil, that would give you one feel, right? Just real smooth. But here I could feel the tip of this pen on this paper. Okay. So there's not a complete disconnect. It's smooth. Don't get me wrong. It's smooth. It doesn't appear to smear, okay? So you don't have smearing. It's handsome, inexpensive. You know, it's like uh, each pen would be about, oh, $2.50 approximately each. That's really cheap. And for, I would say, 95% of the population, you probably won't care about the feel. But personally, myself, who happens to own dozens and dozens and dozens of different pens, this pen does not give me that, that glide feel, that disconnect, which I prefer, between the tip And the paper. I just don't want to feel like I'm rolling on a ro roller ball or something here. And I would imagine that this has, can't really tell. Let me, uh, let me see what, see if I can spot this here. See if there's a roller ball on here. It does appear to have a roller ball on there. Yep. Okay. Yes, there is a roller ball on the tip of this pin, from what I can tell. Okay. So that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a roller ball. 
and unfortunately the ink isn't lubricated enough to, to remove that connection between rollerball and paper. But that's probably why it doesn't smear too. But when I'm, I'm making a big deal of something that honestly is so minute, it's just that I personally am sensitive to it. In other words, when it comes time for me to, let's say, buy another pen or a, a, a refill or something, I'm not going to gravitate towards this pen, even at $2.50. I'm going to gravitate to the $10 pen that I, or the $7 pen or whatever. Let me bring a pen that I use all the time. I did a video on that I happen to like, just as a comparison. Be right back. Okay, so here's a pen, and this here is the G2 Limited from Pilot, okay? And this is a pen, I did a review on this, and so um, I will put the old card right there if you want to check out that review. And this is the one I use all the time. As a matter of fact, I have refilled this twice already which shows that it's not a pen that I just throw away. Uh, it's a really nice pen. And uh, the only thing I don't like about it is this uh, grip can keep spinning and spinning. This one here does not. It's, it's nice and grabs on there. So this has got a better grip than my G2 because I it just has this loose boot on there that I don't like. However, it's how it writes that I like. Okay, I use these G2 Pilot refills. Alright, and they are 0.7 millimeter. So, this is apples to apples. This is a 0.7 millimeter. This is a 0.7 millimeter. So, with that said, when I write with this, this has a nicer glide feel to it. Okay. This one I can feel the roller ball. Okay, on the tip of this. I don't like the feel of the ball turning on the tip, and I can do, and I can feel that on here. Now, is this one a roller ball as well? Let's see, because then it just may be a problem with. Okay, this has some kind of a roller ball as well, so it's just that this one here they must have a smoother roller ball on here because I don't feel it like I do on this. Could it be just that one? Maybe I'll just use the other one here. Let's try this just to be fair. Take the old tip thing off. Flick it. Ouch! Don't tick it and see how this one is. Will this feel different? No. I can feel the roller ball, the, the ball turning the metal to metal feel like, you know, the ball is in, in the in the groove here, and you can I could feel it doing this more with this pin, okay, than I can with let's say this G2 Limited. So I thought I was going crazy there, but yes, I do have uh, gel pins that are roller balls that uh, you don't. Have have to feel the ball turning in the the old tip of Rooney here, okay? Um. But again, like I said, about 95% of the population that use pins won't even give it a double thought. They'll just say, hey, nice looking pin, stick in your pocket, write with it and they won't be so OCD as I am about it. All right, let me just get my favorite pin out of the way here, or one of my favorite pins, 
And let's get back to this one again. Now that we've taken a look at the writing part, let's just break this thing apart and see what's inside, okay? So it has the regular old screw apart, like this. And of course you have your spring, and that spring will come off, of course. There's the tip. Okay. And if I can make out the writing on here, looks like just a bunch of numbers. And those numbers say, looks like, uh, BK 362045 IN IN07 Interesting BK that's yeah BK 362045 IN07 So it'll be interesting to see if that's how you order these refills or just ask for a sharpie pen refill i'll throw it in a search and find out now does the tip itself come off on the edge here like many pens do it doesn't appear to it feels like one solid unit here okay so that's one less thing you have to worry about coming apart and nothing comes out of there, so should be easy to refill. And now let me take a look and see if getting a refill to this is easy to do. All right, so Sharpie pen refill. What do we get? Wow, what's this? 100.55. Oh, that doesn't tell me anything. Okay, Sharpie pen refill on Amazon. Is it the right one? Okay, here's the S gel. So we, we need the S gel. And... All right, here we go. Sharpie... S gel pen refill 0.7 millimeter medium point black ink ouch that is crazy I only paid I only paid five dollars and change for these two pens and here on Amazon you got thirteen dollars for this one fourteen dollars for this one that's just nuts. Amazon, I'm telling you, they do not necessarily have good deals on here. This is crazy. Where did I get mine at? I got it at Target. All right. So, Target.com. Let's see if they have it. All right. Sharpie S Gel 07. Whoops. What happened there? Get out of my way. There we go. And... Look at that. Here's four of them for $5.29. Here's the one I got though, right here. The two pack, 0.7 millimeter black ink for $5.29. And it was way more than that. And that color, by the way, is gunmetal. Okay, that's the way to describe it. All right. Well, it would seem to me, folks, that this may not be eco-friendly because it's cheaper to just buy like you can buy this four pack with the white barrel and if you don't want to use the white barrel i'll bet you can just take the seven millimeter 0.7 millimeter insert out and put it in your gunmetal one and you're good to go so you're get, basically getting four of them for 529 that is a deal steal all right I don't know how long Target's going to have this, uh, today being May 3rd, 2021, uh, just before the hyperinflation kicks in, 
this is what it's at. So anyway, there you go. I uh, hope you found that interesting. Well, that's about all I can say about this pen. Uh, from 0 to 10, how would I grade this? I would grade this pen a 7. All right. So I like it. I like this, the look, the styling. I like the rubber grip. I like the feel. It writes just fine. I have no problem with that. Okay. Uh, it writes writes okay all right doesn't smear i mean it looks like we can get uh replacement refills relatively cheap basically just buying more pens and just take the inserts out if you want to keep using this one here um otherwise it's it's as if these are disposable because if it runs out it seems like it's almost cheaper to just buy another pen rather than the insert which of course you know is just another issue towards the landfills but I leave that um, concern to each of you individually but there you go the Sharpie S gel pen the only thing that uh, negative that I have for this is it's a personal thing okay is that I prefer not to fill the roller ball uh, that much, but it it's not really, I just make it sound so bad, you know? I mean, gosh, I'm just that way. Anyway, so there you go. But hey, I think it's a great pen. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. It'll sit right here on my desk. I'm definitely going to enjoy using it. I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching this video, so please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.